everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Megan thanks so much for watching I make videos all about vegan lifestyle things mom things and my weight loss journey today I am back with a what I eat in a day video and this is how I have lost now 42 pounds using the starch solution slash a whole food plant-based diet so before I get into everything, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell so you don't miss any updates and also go follow me over on my Instagram and let's go ahead and get into this video. So starting out with breakfast, I'm just going to pop some of these potatoes O'Brien. It's really just diced potatoes with peppers and onions into my air fryer. I use the french fry setting on my air fryer which is just like turning it on, pressing this random square button, it sets it automatically at 400 degrees, and the time is for 15 minutes. Really, I just use this setting out of ease, and every few minutes I shake it around. Um, I will say that I don't love using this particular mix in the air fryer and you will see why in just a few minutes because it is really easy to kind of overcook the peppers and onions especially the onions and um, you'll see in a second too that I got a little bit distracted with my toddler and uh, I let it go for the entire time and so I did overcook them just a little bit. I usually take it out about five minutes left on the timer but they were fine anyways so I just put them out on a paper plate and I topped them with seasoned salt that is my absolute favorite thing to top it with. I mean, you can do whatever seasonings that you like. These particular potatoes are completely oil free and there's no seasoning on them. So you can really like do whatever you want, which is the great thing about it. And then I also top it with some Simply um, ketchup. The reason that I use this particular ketchup is that it doesn't have any high fructose corn syrup and it uses distilled vinegar, which is the only type of ketchup that my daughter can have because she has a yeast allergy. So we have to be very, very careful about what types of vinegars that she is allowed to have. But this is what my breakfast looks like. It is quite delicious and my toddler loves it too. So for lunch, I'm going to start by popping this riced broccoli that I got at Target into the microwave. I love things like this because the easier the better. And the next thing that I'm going to do is open this lovely can of Heinz vegetarian baked beans. The reason I use this brand is that it uses distilled vinegar. Again. It is so that my daughter can enjoy these as well, and I would say that they are right up there with some good old Bush's baked beans, but Bush's baked beans are not, you know, vegan by any means. And I also microwave these as well, don't judge me. Um, it's just easier, especially with a toddler. And then I'm also going to be making some mashed potatoes using the Bob's Red Mill potato flakes that you've seen in a previous video. I just put two thirds of a cup into a bowl as well as some seasoning. I'm using my staple favorite, which is garlic salt. I use the Simply Organic brand just because it has a little bit of extra flavoring with the parsley in it. I am pretty generous on how much I put in there because, you know, you can never have enough garlic salt. And then I pour some hot water over it and mix it all together. What I'm going to be making is obviously a mashed potato bowl, but 
you're gonna have to trust me on this don't knock it until you try it because once you see what I'm gonna do it is not gonna look that appetizing so again you're just gonna have to trust me on this that all of the flavors do work together and it is delicious and it is nutritious. Lots of fiber, lots of protein. Please don't judge me. So obviously it takes a little bit to mix these potatoes together and get out all of the clumps. Then I am going to start adding in the riced broccoli first. I just kind of eyeball this and I probably add half to three quarters of the bag of the riced broccoli, just depending on how I'm feeling that day. I've already made Seely a plate and gotten her some of the baked beans out of the bowl so I won't use like the entire can of baked beans myself but I go ahead and just mix in the broccoli with the mashed potatoes again don't judge me I'm sure a lot of people would have an issue with this just texture wise um, but then I just dump in the baked beans as well I'm going to warn you, it does not look appetizing. It does kind of look gross, but it is really, really good. If you give this one a try, please let me know down in the comments below and let me know what you think about it. I swear, it looks gross, but it is quite delicious. So for dinner, while my pan is preheating, I'm gonna go ahead and start making my sauce. I'm going to start with these coconut aminos. I'm just going to pour some into a measuring cup. I am eyeballing it. I'm not going to do any like specific measurements here. Sorry about that. I probably should give you guys some specific measurements, but I don't even really do it myself. Um, I'm just using like whatever is left over in this bottle that I had already opened. And then I'm also going to open another bottle and pour some in as well. I would say it's probably maybe between a quarter and a half of a cup. And then I'm going to definitely put in a quarter of a cup of brown sugar and just kind of let that melt into the coconut aminos and then whisk it all together to make sure that the sugar really dissolves in there. And the reason I use coconut aminos instead of soy sauce is because I've had a history of a soy allergy so it's just a little bit safer for me. And then I am going to add some red pepper flakes just to give it a little bit of spice. And I personally don't add too much of this because we are not fans of spice in my household. We cannot handle too much heat. So if you like a lot of heat, you could probably stand to add a little bit more. You could probably also add some sriracha sauce to this if you really like the heat. That is just not our cup of tea. So now into my preheated pan, I'm adding a little bit of water and then I'm going to add some garlic that is already diced. I went ahead and sped this video up as well because it literally took 400 years to make this dinner on this night so we would be here for a million years so maybe not a million years but it really took a long time to make so into my pan I'm going to be adding this stir-fry blend that I got from Target 
I'm actually going to be adding two packages of it to this pan. Normally I would only add one package, but for whatever reason I decided to add two on this night. I don't know what I was thinking, and this is probably why it took extra long. But really, I'm just going to let these vegetables kind of like defrost and cook all the way through and stir every now and then. So once I feel like my vegetables have cooked down enough and defrosted enough, I will just completely get rid of the lid and just let the vegetables keep cooking down with the lid off. While my vegetables are still cooking, I'm gonna pop this brown rice. It is frozen brown rice from Publix. I'm gonna put that in the microwave. I prefer the frozen brown rice over the shelf-stable brown rice because the frozen stuff doesn't have any added oils or anything, but the stuff that is shelf-stable does have the added oils. And while my vegetables are still cooking down, once I feel like they are cooked down enough, then I will go ahead and add my sauce to them so that way the vegetables can start marinating in the sauce and the sauce can start reducing a little bit as well. Finally, when the rice is done, I will add that to the veggies in the sauce and stir it all in so that the sauce can get absorbed by the rice a little bit. And I will let it heat up for a few minutes, but I'll go ahead and then put it into a bowl. And that's how we personally like it. I'm not sure how that's how most people do it, but that's just what we like. That's what works for us and it turns out quite delicious. All right, so that is everything that I eat in a day. If you have any favorite recipes that are quick and easy, leave them down in the comments below. Please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, that really helps out my channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.